Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would just quickly show you how to fix a chipped mug. Now I have here, this mug is chipped underneath, so we're going to fix that. But also I have a cup here, which is slightly different because it's chipped on the rim at the top, which you would drink from. So I'll just show you there. So I thought may as well kill two birds with one stone, so to speak, and fix both of those at the same time. So you can see how to correctly fix a chip on a mug. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your hands are nice and clean. You don't want to be transferring, throwing any dirt onto, with the milliput, onto your cup and mug. Now, I use milliput and I use the super fine milliput. I do prefer this than using glue and to be honest personally I wouldn't be comfortable eating drinking out of or even eating if you had a fruit bowl or something with something which has been glued rather than using milliput because glue after a while especially if it's in hot um, you put it into a dishwasher or you wash it very hot it the glue tends to soften and so it's quite unstable and it changes whereas milliput stays hard now, with the milliput, it comes in two parts and you have to mix two parts together for it to, uh, to then harden. So what we'll do first is take, so they're two small pieces, one piece like this. Now I tend to always make sure as well that you wrap it up again. Now I do tend to put it into a ball first because then you can make sure that it's the same amount quantity from the other bag and then we'll take a little hardened piece off here that's quite small let's take a bit more and then just give that a round tiny little bit more not much just to get to the same size. You want it literally 50-50. So once we've got those together, you then press them in together and really work that in so they're really together and all as one. You don't see any other colour. Now when you do have the blue packet, it tends to be a hint of yellow, which is quite good because then you can see if it's really combined once you don't see the yellow or any marbling within it. Now, another thing whilst I'm doing this, um, you could use also take is just a small glass of water. Now, years ago, when I, I think I've said this on a previous video, when I first started China restoration, I was taught by a very old lady um, and to begin with, and her way before milliput i presume was invented she they did actually use glue and talcum powder which was fine for items and objects which you're not going to be drinking from but as i say with milliput it is a safer option once it's cured and when i say cured it takes once it's you've applied it onto your mug or your cup once it has dried, which takes between 24 hours, personally I like to leave it for 48, and then once it's sanded, to just make sure it's nice and flush, and then you, you wash it. And once it's washed, then it's ready to go. It's, you can put it into the dishwasher, you can put it on hot water, and it's not going to move. It's part of then the piece. Right, that's nice and combined. So what we'll do first, let's take our mug on the underside here. Now, what you do is just take a small amount and almost try to not have it too flush. You want it slightly protruding because you want to then, once it's dried fully, you can actually sand it. And you just gently, you can see, apply it onto your mug. Pressing it in, make sure it's all in. You can see there. And then I'm just going to do the cup as well. 
Now I have said again in previous tutorials, if you have a coloured mug which is a different colour, merely put do other various colours as well, such as black, terracotta, silver grey. But I like to use the super fine white. So again, there. Now you can see our little chip just there. Again, if you can just place it and make sure you get right to the way round. So it's slightly protruding. Now this is when the water comes in. You could actually take some water and just dip your finger into it and then you can just smooth it down more and this will help smooth the milli put into place. And the same on the mug. Now what I will do is I'm going to leave this now to cure for 24 hours to 48 hours until it's completely hardened. Then I would lightly sand it just so it's not big and bumpy and so it's almost part of the item. And then I would gently wash it in some washing up liquid and rinsed and then you're good to go. So I hope you found this useful. Again, I do have plenty of playlists. I do china restoration, porcelain restoration and pottery restoration. Um, and I will be covering everything from cracks, bonding, filling, painting, airbrushing. So please subscribe if you haven't. And also please share and like. So thank you very much. I hope this is useful. Please comment down below and I will see you in the next one. OK, bye.